Okay, we are... There's a wolf outside? Oh yeah, there was a wolf outside. So, anyway, um... We need to deal with him. I'll just put this on. Or I can just put it like this. We're gonna deal with Wolfie first. So, anyway... Get rid of this wolf first. Where'd you go? Rah, the, you got two hits on me. Well, let's cut you up. So they just announced version 1.16. Like they released like the pre-release for it. And it's going to be the homesteading update Part two. So they're gonna add things like uh, it was distilling, I believe. And one thing I noticed is they're going to add a range drifter. So that's gonna be really awesome. Looking forward to that. Now I need to get this meat cooked. And something else they added is they're going to add permadeath. Which is really nice. I think I'm going to do like a permadeath playthrough next time I play this in 1.16. I mean, it shouldn't be that complicated. All I have to do is not do anything stupid. Okay, maybe that will make things difficult, but <laughs> you know what I mean. So, let's get this off now. I think that's why I kept it, kept this in my inventory. Just so that I can deal with the wolf. Because I think I detected this like before I ended the playthrough. Let's put this here. So what I want to do now is continue working on the road. Like we still need materials to work on the towers here. If I remember correctly. Oh, we're going to need more bauxite and more clay. Definitely need more fire clay. Yeah, so we'll continue working on the path. And you know what? I probably should warm up first before I go out there. And I should also put my armor back on. That would be the smart thing to do. And then we'll just go and start continue working on the path or you know what let's continue working on the path in the base here like i've been neglecting it for far too long like it deserves some love also take some of this meat and i need to fill up on food again okay what do i need oh i need to make some bread i forgot about that but you know what? Let's deal with that later. Right now, I just want to get some work done here. Not just hang around the house. Well, I guess I am working around the house here, but still. Let's get this path done. Like, it's almost the end of this playthrough. We're currently in March. So, I need to get a lot of stuff done before then. And by the way... Just for those who don't know, I'm going to be ending this playthrough on March or May 1st, 1387. So that's two months from now. And I'll also be releasing the map for it so you can download it at the last part. Just like in version 1.14, I'm going to be doing the same thing with this version and this playthrough. So you'll be, be able to download the map and download the seed, or not download the seed, but see the seed so you can generate this world for yourself if you want to. So that is the current plan for that. And I don't think I need to continue making the path here. I don't think I'll have time to dig through that mountain and move in that direction. Or over there. Definitely can't cut through that mountain anymore. I don't have time for that. 
Now, I was originally planning on building the road in that direction to the east, and then to the south, and then to the north, and then finally west, but again, it just took too long for me to do anything because of this thing right here, this house and this workshop. It just used up too much material to make this and I'm still not even done this like I still need to build up the windmill towers and then finish it off with a roof of its own all three towers will have like this overhanging roof like this But I'm not sure if I'll need to make more fire clay shingles. I think I'm pretty much done. But if not, then I would need just like one more row of it. Or one more round of it, I should say. Not row. What the hell am I thinking? Wait, can I shovel the snow off these paths? Like, is that even possible? Let's check... Well, it takes out the stone past slab, but I can't take this, I can't take the snow off. Like, it has to be both or none, so it kind of sucks. Now, I didn't uh, see that in the patch notes, at least I don't think so. For version 1.16, but it's a very minor thing, so it's really not that big of a deal. Like, the snow doesn't remove the effect from the path, so... I don't know if they'll do anything about it. Or maybe they'll put in like a 10% decrease, like make it go down to like 20% or maybe even 10%. Just to encourage players to shovel the snow on their paths or something. But either way, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, there's a lot of things that they're adding that's... For the most part, it's not that big of a deal. It's mainly cosmetic. But I'd like to see more functional stuff being added, but... Really, the things I'm looking forward to are the permadeath and the drifters. The new type of drifter that now s throws rocks at you. That would be insane. And... I should probably do something else. So, I've pretty much burned through all of my paths here. Come to think of it, I do need more bauxite, and I think I'm eventually going to need more quartz as well. So, you know what? Let's go down into the bauxite cave and get some more of that. Oh, and I'm also going to get the ore blasting bombs. I have 15 left. Yeah, so I'm... Probably gonna need to make more of that stuff. So powdered sulfur, saltpeter, and we do have black coal. We have lots of black coal. This is gonna last through the rest of the playthrough. So I don't need to make any more charcoal. Like that was a good find, I gotta say. Also gotta make more linen. Now, I did build all the windmills, so this is just reserve that I can use for, like, the orb blasting bombs. Okay, let's see if I remember this correctly. I guess it doesn't matter where I put it. It's one of those recipes. We'll use all of our sulfur to make that. And then... Did have a little bit more in here. Let's do this. I think it doesn't matter where I put this in the grid either. So yeah, let's do that. And you know what? That's it. Let's just leave it at that. Oh, and I also need to get rid of these bones. Where did I put the bones? Okay, here. Oh, it's in the same container. Good, 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 good. And then the raw hide. You know, put you in here. Alright, so let's put all of this stuff away. You know, I'm gonna make the bread later on when I come back. Because right now, what I want to do is just, uh... Get some more bauxite.
Okay, you know, I'm just gonna put this here. And I'm gonna throw away my spears. Probably should replace this shovel. I'll keep an extra stack of torches here. And I'm gonna bring these stone paths with me just because I need to put some in places around the path. Okay, so this should all be done now. Yeah, this is good enough. Let's go. Now I'm wondering, should I... Maybe I should bring the armor with me. Just because we're going to explore the rest of that bauxite cave. Wait. Put it like this. And then... We'll just carry this around. If I need more inventory space, I do have the storage chests around the translocators and I can just get rid of spears. Why am I putting it on right now? Ah, oh, damn it. What the hell am I doing? When we're traveling on the surface, we need to keep this to the cloth armor. We need to keep our cloth armor on. And then it's when we go down to the cave, we put on the chain mail. Ready to start. It's only a start of this play session. I'm already losing it. Hmm. Probably should drink more coffee before I play. Oh, I need to finish this little bridge. Now, just as a reminder, I can't light up this path really because I just don't have enough lanterns. To light up anything. So that's why it's going to be pretty much dark. There's like a lantern at a few key points. Like one over there. I think I put a lantern like on the uh, corner over there. Or was it a fire pit? I forget. I'll have to check it out again. And I still need to... Uh, make the tools, the business bronze tools for the trader by the base. Because I do want to get that cash. Or I guess those rusty gears. Oh yeah, I made a tunnel here. So I just can just continue getting this speed bonus. Moving in this direction. And I'd put the lanterns there. And I brought some flowers with me. No, we're just going to bring it with us and put it in the chest because we don't really need it. So this is... Oh, I didn't put a lantern here. It was just a fire pit. And you know what? I still need to explore the caves around here. Like, I really don't know what's in this area. You know, it's kind of weird. I'm exploring the caves like closer to the traders than the ones around here like these caves are really far away like really shouldn't be exploring them first oh well, i guess it's because all those translocators were like really close to the entrance so that's i guess that's why i'm doing this but it really should be closer to home Come to think of it, I should have probably built my permanent housing close to resources. Just because it would make things so much easier. It would cut down on a lot of the travel time. So I think that's something to keep in mind when I do the playthrough for 1.16. Is just build close to resources. Like yeah, I'll get the temporary house up and running. Like immediately on the first day, but what I need to do is basically plan out the playthrough better. Okay, I guess this is fine for now. So, there was... You know what? I, I don't actually know where the stone paths I was supposed to put. Yeah, where are those blocks? 
So we'll just put this away for now and I'll put the bombs in here. So let's go get some bauxite. The torch is gonna be lit. Now I did refresh these before I stopped playing in the last play session. But basically what I wanna do go down here there's another static translocator so we have two of these again but I don't think we're gonna get enough temporal gears to repair it and I probably should put the ladders here so I can climb back up Then we'll put another torch here. Then I guess we don't need a ladder here. Okay, we got some copper. Got some copper going. I guess this was a copper cave. Ooh, it's a rich deposit. There's a drifter burning down there. Nice. So I guess if I'm going to harvest this, I would need to like build some kind of platform here. Just so I can blow this up. But I do have to check if there's like anything actually down here worth getting. I guess the answer is no. It's just, uh, it's just that. So you know what? We'll cover this up. Yeah, we'll just fill this in. Just so we don't have to deal with this. And then we can begin, like, blasting this stuff. The deposit goes in here, so... All right, let's get this going. Oh, I don't need the crotch to ignite this. I'm gonna take damage anyway, because I just can't get away fast enough. It doesn't take much damage anyway. I think this is it. Okay, let's cut through here. You know, put bomb like right here. I'm wondering if I can just detonate both at the same time. Or put one here. So this should be able to reach the other bomb. I uh, got all three. So that's good. Go check this now. Diagonals are clear, so I think this is the end of the deposit in this corner. Just put you over here. We dig this way. Now this is an unstable area, so I do have to work quickly. Or wait, I think this is the end of this corner over here. Yeah, it looks like this is it. The torch here. Yeah, I think this is the end of the deposit, but we will check the diagonals just to be sure. Yep, it's the end. Oh, what's up here? Didn't see you there. Gonna have to blow you up as well. I guess the ore blasting bombs don't really do that much damage. Ooh, there's a lot of you up here. So the game did trick me. There is 
like more in this corner up here. I thought it like went downwards. Or wait, this is another deposit. This is a poor deposit. So... I'm just gonna do this. And it prevents spawns. We'll put a torch here. And I probably should pick these up right now. I really don't want these things despawning. And we'll do it like that. And then after we get all of this copper, what I'm going to do is get some bauxite. I think that's the end of the deposit. Unless there are diagonals, but let's just be sure. Yeah, I think this is it. Yep, definitely it. Okay, so let's go and continue bombing this. Oops. Fell onto the ladder here. We go bomb and bomb and is there anything up here? No. Alright, I think we're done with this deposit. So once we're done this, we'll go and get some bauxite. And then we'll throw away some spears just to make room for it. I want to try to get as much bauxite as I possibly can. Yeah, I think this is it. Alright, so let's just get everything here. I guess we can leave the torches. We didn't put down that many torches anyway. And you know, I probably could seal this off. There we go. This way we don't have to, we don't accidentally fall in there and we still have access to the translocator if we absolutely need it. First, let's go back through here. I'm gonna deposit all this stuff into the chest. Oh, it's nighttime. I guess I can put you all in here. Yeah, I didn't really get that much uh, poor chunks, but it did get a lot of the rich ones. So it's well worth it. Anyway, let's go get some, uh, what's it called? I already forgot what you're called. Oh yeah, the bauxite. Let's go get some more bauxite. Now I should probably mine this in a way that I can relieve rocks. This way I at least have those rocks available for building if I want to like dress up my base a little bit to so just have some of it available I'm down to 39% you know this gear is kind of misleading so it looks like it's halfway down to the bottom but in reality it's like almost a third so it's kind of weird. Oh, 
Well, let's just do this quickly. I'm just going to stay here until I can't stay here anymore. Okay, so it's down to 32. Now, start relieving these rocks. You know what? Let's start on this side and then make a checkerboard pattern over here. Now, keep in mind, we still need to get some more fire clay for the refractory bricks. We're going to need a lot of those. Now I get the feeling we're only going to be able to do like one round of steel. You go down to 27. I think the rest of this should be fine. We're still stable enough. Okay, I think... Yeah, I think we're down to 24. Let's go. Like, I'd rather not push my luck here. Mm, yeah, let's go. Let's go. So we got 18 bauxite rocks. We can polish them up. And do stuff with it. Oh shit. Yeah, it's getting too unstable. They're starting to spawn in places where they shouldn't be spawning. Alright, so let's go. Hmm. Yeah, let's just bring the full blocks with us. I'll bring this bauxite here. And let's go. Or you know what? Get rid of some of these spears. I'll at least store these spears. It doesn't seem like we need them anymore. We'll keep like a spare here. And then we'll take the stone paths. Like I'm pretty sure there was some place around here that needed the full blocks of stone paths. Now I'm gonna like keep my chainmail on because I don't have enough room in my inventory. Or you know what? I guess I can just do this. 